Shankill O'Neill, better known as Shanks, is a British roadman who travelled over from the ends of Brixton to Los Santos, and he has had quite the experience in the city thus far. Hello everyone, my name is Just Nagin, and today we are going to be looking into one of the most underrated characters in No Pixel. Remember, if you do go on to enjoy this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, so come on dude, come on, there's no pressure, just subscribe. Shankeel O'Neill, most commonly known as Shanks, is a British roadman in his late 20s who was roleplayed by Twitch streamer Bandito Brown. He originally lived over in the ends of Brixton, however, he has since moved to Los Santos for bigger and better opportunities. He is an instantly recognisable character from his particularly unique voice and his iconic phrases. On the, on the block with Mr. Kyle Pritt, the quietest cop in all of the force, all of the police forces. And the LSPD is, I'm pretty sure that's what he's with. Early on in Shankill's life within the city, he met up with a small group of friends. These people being Jalen Carter, Lil Bleach, and Billy Fresh. The group would soon grow closer and stronger together, and would eventually form up and create a team under Wayne Biggs. Originally, the group was formed to help aid and run Wayne's weed empire. However, as the group began to grow larger and larger, the team began to make many alliances throughout the city, most notably with Changang. One of the key events that occurred within the early days of the group was when they were tasked to hunt down a group of individuals who were supposedly interfering with Wayne's weed business. The individuals were suspected of stealing his weed and interrupting many of their deals. Shanks and the rest of the group then set out and began the hunt. The group spent a great deal of their time looking for these individuals until one day, they would find a group of three, of which two were responsible for the theft. Shanks and the group then kidnapped them and had one of them executed by Wayne's order, and Shanks was the one tasked to seal the deal. Shanks then whipped out a knife, locked him into his eyes, and shanked him, leaving him to be presumed dead. After this, Wayne was impressed by this then unnamed group, and decided to give them an actual title, known as Street Team, officially cementing them as an identifiable force which would continue to work closely with Wayne and help him run his weed operations. Now being a part of Street Team allowed Shanks to learn a great deal on what it's like to be a serious criminal within the city. This in turn gave him a very large confidence boost as he started to rely on his ability and his peers around him which then resulted in Shanks to take on many jobs with the street team. The four founding members of this team would then swiftly bring in more of their most trusted friends within the city, as they began to build a rather dangerous and powerful reputation for themselves. With this reputation, the team would then gain the respect from their then bosses, Changyang, which would eventually see them becoming so powerful, even up to the point where they were even considered as powerful as Changyang. And everything seemed to be going swell for Shanks, he was a founding member of a dominant group within the city, who was making a great deal of cash, and he had his day ones around him near enough all the time. I mean, surely nothing could go wrong, right? Over the course of time, conflicts between Street Team and many other gangs within the city were bound to happen, as people saw Street Team as a threat and didn't want them to become astronomically dominant within the city, which was slowly but surely already happening, of which one of these conflicts was in fact crucial when it came to Street Team, as a gang, and to Shanks as an individual. A few months down the line of the creation of Street Team, the gang found themselves in conflict with the Baller Gang, which Shanks did in fact have a key part in starting. The conflict originally started over the weed business, which both of the gangs were heavily involved in. Along with this, multiple members of Ballers and Street Team had been kidnapped by the two gangs, further adding fuel to the fire. One of the most notable clips that I could find was when Shanks was held at gunpoint on suspicion that either he or his gang members were stealing the boss' weed, to which Shankil just wholeheartedly denied. Brother, I didn't steal your weed. No one who works for me stole your Once weed, again, bro. Appreciate it. This altercation continued, to which Shanks began to convince the boss that he didn't even have any involvement in someone stealing their weed. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think you be telling the truth right here. I'm yeah, you crack it. Like, like I do know I sell people weed. No, no, I've got listen, too much him personally weed. probably didn't do it, but his little homies probably did. As the conversation progressed, Shanks then warned the ballers that there could have been witnesses that saw them kidnap and hold them off. Hey, what's mean you ain't scared? Like, what's that supposed to mean? Well, put it this way, bro. Did you check for witnesses just now when you took me from the spot? Bro, what are you trying to say, bro? I'm telling you that people just witness you do that, and I got CG back in. You think I? Oh, you you being that kind of bitch, huh? 
Shanks then name dropped Chang Gang, stating that he had backing from them, to which the baller saw as a threat, resulting in Shanks being shot. Now, over time, some of the members of Street Team grew distant from Shanks. This was supposedly because he was a bit of a loose cannon, who had a particularly erratic and dangerous behaviour. This eventually led to Jalen and Shanks to hold a conversation and discuss how the spark between the two parties was just no longer the same. They both agreed on this being the case, which saw Shanks resign as a founding member of Street Team and demoted to nothing but a friend of the gang. Overall, Shanks' departure from Street Team resulted in him to reflect upon himself and work on his flaws, which has definitely seen him become a stronger character as a result. Over the course of time, Shanks began to make new friends, most notably with Ved and Batar. Over this time, his relationship between the two of them began to grow stronger and stronger, which then saw him being introduced to the Mandem and become recognised as a seasoned vet when it came to pushing weight. At the time, the Mandem were interested in beginning a street team of their own, and saw Shanks as a potential leader. The Mandem then held discussions with Shanks, and coined him and invited him as the first official member and leader of the now newly founded group known as the Roadmen. Damn right? Yeah. So, we were thinking, how do you feel being the first Roadman member for the Mandem. We want to get you a house down at Blue Cage. You pick whichever house you want. But we're getting this road team started because we're the bloody Mandem. Ever since then, Shanks has been introducing more and more members to the Roadman and has been leading by example, proving that he has still got it. But hey everyone, that's a brief history of Shankiel O'Neill. I hope you enjoyed the video. Huge shout out to Bandito himself for helping me create this video. I mean, without your help, I can tell you this would have been very difficult to make. So, I appreciate the help brother, and I hope you like this video. And yeah everyone, make sure that you check him out in the description. It's Bandito Brown one on Twitch, and go over there if you want to see some elite content from himself in the future. And yeah, remember to like the video and subscribe. That's all from myself for today. And I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.